For IV therapy, you need a alcohol swab for the IV site, you need a flush, and then whatever your ordered uh, fluid bag, for this example would be a thousand ml bag of sodium chloride, and then primary IV tubing. Perform hand hygiene in your 60 second assessment, assessing for airway, breathing, and circulation. Check the tubes, lines, and drains, and the safety of the room. ID your patient and check vitals. When you enter the patient's room with the medication, you'll want to check their wristband again against the order and also compare the medication against the order. You open up the tubing and make sure that the tubing is clamped. And be sure not to drop the tubing on the ground or let it hit anything. Um, spike the bag without contaminating and then hang the bag. All right, so now that I've hung my bag up, I'm going to make sure that the clamp is clamped, um, make sure that this one is open, and that I still have my um, sterile blue tip on there. Um, I want to prime the IV um, like this, make sure that you get the fluid up to the line before you open it. To get the air bubbles the right way, you want to um, open it up and watch the, the uh, fluid go through. The bubble will go out. I want to watch it as it goes through. Yeah, this is when I would, I can move this. And honestly, what I'm so as I open it, this. I'm making sure that I get my fluid having this upside oh, yeah, down. So I watch it go through. So my line is right there. Open it up again. And now that I have the fluid through that one, I make sure that this one is upside down. Having the fluid go up to the end there. You can control how fast the fluid goes through the line by raising or lowering the tubing and also with right. the roller clamp. So you got the fluid up to the tip here without going past, without wasting any fluid. So I have this clamped. This is ready to go now. I can hang this out of my way with this sterile tip on there still. So now that I got my IV fluids ready, I want to inspect my IV site. I'm going to look for um, any signs of infiltration, um, any redness, any signs of infection. Hand hygiene first before I do anything. All right, so I already hand hygiene. I put my gloves on. I'm going to inspect the IV site, looking for signs of infiltration, any signs of infection like redness, um, swelling, if they're reporting any pain. Uh, so now that I'm inspected and um, intact, I'm going to uh, get my flush ready. So, all right, so now that I've inspected the IV site, I'm going to open up my, um, my flush. I have uh, my normal saline 10 ml syringe. I'm going to pull back on this to get the air bubble. And I'm going to loosen this a little bit to get the fluid out. Reconnect this to keep it sterile. So now my IV flush is ready to go. All air is out. Uh, before I flush, I need to scrub the hub. I'm going to get my alcohol wipe. So you take this. You can do this for 30 seconds, making sure to get all in. So let's say it's been 30 seconds. Without letting go of my sight, I'm going to take my flush, put it in my pinky, grab like that. I already, I already got the air bubbles out of this. I'm going to take that, connect it. Now I can push. And if you're meeting any resistance, um, you can make sure that it's unclamped on there. I'm going to press. I don't have any resistance on there. Perfect. So without letting go of this, I'm going to re-clamp it. The uh, syringe acts as a pressure to keep the fluid or the blood from uh, going back into the line. I'm going to leave this attached to keep it sterile. So now that I flush it, it's intact. Um, I didn't meet any resistance, or anything like that. I'm gonna start working on my. I can start working on my IV tubing. Um, so my order is to do um, 30 drops uh, per minute 
I'm going to take this. It also makes it fall. Using the roller clamp and your watch or a clock, time the drops so that you get the right drops per minute. So I have my drops, um, I have my 30 drops in a minute set. Um, I'm going to reassess my site to make sure I don't have any signs of infiltration. Um, there's no complications. Uh, I'm going to document and we'll be all set.